Hello, I am Jan from JC Web Tech. I publish tutorials with tips and tricks and hacks for uh, WordPress, Elementor and web design in general. And today I have this layout of it you know from this portfolio widget i think it even exists in elementor it's very often used in any kind of portfolios here i'm actually using it to filter this made up courses for uh, web development so as you can see you have different categories and when you click on this button you filter it by this uh, category and this is it's a custom loop from uh, looping through custom post types so it's a little bit more advanced than my previous tutorials if you are new to this coding javascript hacking of uh, elementor you may want to check out my previous tutorial and uh, if you feel ready for this or also if you just want to see how this then thing works uh, yeah just stick here with me and uh, i will explain it all how to achieve this uh, also as you can see uh, for the first time I decided to pull out my camera I realized it somehow might be helpful to also have this nonverbal communication especially in this kind of parts of the video where there is not enough uh, visual output to re refer to so let me know in the comments if this is any helpful because it obviously takes a little bit more time yeah, and also I'm still working on my uh, speed optimization for Elementor uh, video. It's coming uh, very soon. So if you are interested in this and you should be, then uh, subscribe and hit this bell button that will ensure that you will be notified when I publish this video. I applied all these techniques that I'm going to teach you on this uh, last web page that I created. And as you can see, it's scoring pretty well. Mobile score is 93 and PC is uh, varies around 99. And this is without any caching plugins, any cache server caching turned on and already with uh, Google Analytics uh, applied on the website. So uh, if you, we can still optimize it further. So if you want to see this happen, uh, Hit the subscribe button and the bell that will really notify you when this video is out i promise i will try to put it out as soon as possible but now uh, let's go back to this uh, i call it this portfolio like filtering and i will show you how this all is built and then custom code it in the end also if you are very good with uh, this custom post type you can skip a little bit forward but if you want to stick around to see how i build this uh, let's just dive straight into it so these are the following plugins that we are going to need it is advanced custom fields custom post type ui la custom skin and obviously elementor and elementor pro i would normally discourage you from using the elementor header and footer and uh, also the vp forms light and just stick with the functionality of Elementor Pro to get the most performant website but for the sake of this tutorial I just imported a starter template to make it a little bit easier for me so bear with me and also normally I would use jet engine for this kind of thing but as I want to demonstrate that beside the Elementor Pro this can be achieved for free I went back to using LA custom skin I didn't use for a little while so if I struggle somewhere a little please bear with me so let's go to custom post types and we are going to create new one so it will be the course It will be courses. Uh, yes. And we add the post type. We have it here. We could customize it further, but don't need to lose time with it right now. So we could add a new one here, but we have like no, no custom fields here. So let's first add custom fields. Let me look at the design. So we will need 
the picture we will need the the category it will be very important as we will see later on uh, the name and uh, yeah maybe the duration let's keep the also this let's use the level as well so we need to go to custom fields and new for post type we need to select for which post type we will apply it so so we select post type equal to course great uh, active doesn't matter right now and we need to add new field so what i was saying it will be the for the image we can maybe use the featured image so we will need the category so text that should be fine add new field what's next uh, title it's also fine as text add new field and it will be the level and then will be the time so it will be level and add new field duration and duration uh, is there like maybe let's keep it text as well to make it simple and now i just need to save everything ah i didn't give it a name of course so let's call it uh, custom for courses great now i believe we can publish it yes yes it worked so i still remember something and so now if we go back to courses and we want to add new actually i didn't i wouldn't have to create the title because i could use the title here so let me just quickly go back and delete it okay so we will have the title that will be it's gonna be this let's put some description but we are not gonna need it at this uh, little tutorial uh, in the category level and duration and uh, as you will see the the category is going to be very important so let me fill in some data and uh, we will continue after Okay, so now as I have some data inside of this custom post type, let's create the actual template to visualize this data. So now it comes to L custom skin, which you'll find under templates. Loop. In my case, I can actually copy the design from this static design that is already here. So I'm going to open it in Elementor. Old good trusty Elementor and I'll just copy, no, copy this whole column, copy, paste. Okay, amazing and we are going to add connect this to the dynamic data from the post type that we selected so i will go to the dynamic tags i will use the featured image okay here i will use the category Here it 
it will be again custom field and it's the level and here alternatively the duration Did I click on that no duration okay sounds great I will already publish it I'm setting so I want to preview it all as course okay we need to select which course it will be it will be something with HTML yes apply and preview okay so we have the category we don't have the title it's not ACF I'm sorry it's just simply the title yes we are there we are getting there I promise I promise that will make sense very soon so basically if you are not familiar with LA custom skin at all so we are creating here the template for the loop it's gonna make sense in a second so I will save it once more we are pulling in all the dynamic data I believe and we will need one more thing that will be it's basically the key thing of this tutorial we will add this whole thing the class and it will pull it in from the dynamic data from custom fields and it will be as we are going to be filtering by the category so it will be the category so this whole item will have the class corresponding to the category so in this case it will be HTML and we will be able to filter it by that it will also start making sense very soon I promise update save and close so I believe we are done here but I will keep it open in case we will need to tweak something because we already saw we can sometimes need to go back and improve things so let's go to home page and uh, I will want I will want to get rid of this very soon and instead instead I will want to put in the loop yes it is the post uh, widget and we don't want classic nor any other of the default ones but we will want custom and now I am able to select the courses loop okay and now we have this layout that is pulling the dynamic data from our custom post type courses you can see introduction for CSS it's bigger than our one hour 23 minutes CSS beginner one hour 23 minutes so we have here a little bit of random height of the pictures so let's just fix this last thing in the layout okay this is amazing I'm not sure if it, this was originally possible this must be new in Elementor so we can specify the height so let's go with about 220 I just like even numbers sorry if I bother you it's a little bit of an obsession and we can use this cover here to make sure that we are not shrinking the image no let me put my 220 and we will want to shrink it so we will select cover and it will nicely cover 
this area this is amazing i didn't know it was there so hopefully gonna be helpful for you as well so i will save it and refresh this one did i save it here obviously didn't so second try yes and now we can we have the images evenly high although there are different sizes yeah this is this just got so much easier the last thing to add in the layout is to create the custom navigation that will help us filter through these elements so let's use what do you want to use let's use uh, let's use buttons let's just use buttons we want to put them right here i think we can let's do it uh, and we want to put it uh, position it in line and style it a little let's not make it round or the radius zero fading make it a little bit bigger not but not too big all right i like that um content so it will be html the first one and we will want to give it a little margin on the right 10 should be enough or let's give it let's give it both on the right and left and so the duplicate will be the css javascript php so let me just input it css great and I think it would look even better if we center it so we can use vertical no horizontal center amazing and let's give it a little bit of space around so put margin 30 30 not 300 this could work this could work it's not the most stunning design ever but for the sake of the tutorial it could it could do so now we are done with the layout and let's move on to the second part where we will create the filtering so that when we click on the html it will only show us this element if we click on the css i think i have three here so it will filter to this three and uh, same for javascript and i think i have just one php so to the to achieve that i uh, will need to give these elements some classes and ids so class it will be my nav and it will be common for all three could have put it before I copied them over but I would just have to think in advance which I did obviously didn't and the IDs have to be unique unique so let's use HTML uh, CSS javascript and php i'm completely making this up it is just my let's say variables that i'm creating that i'm going to refer in the future it doesn't mean that you need to also call it html and yeah so now we will going to need a little bit of custom css so let's save this and go to site settings custom css 
I will create a class my active. I call it my active because active could be used already and could lead to a collision. And my active, the I will put the background color yellow and important to override the styling that is already there. So let's test it out. It will probably not work out of the box, but we are going to fix that. So I will just to test it out, I will give this one. So the class my active and update it and preview. As you can see, it's not working. It's probably because I will have to refer to some of this sub element because as you know, Elementor is wrapping everything into another wrappers and wrappers and wrappers. So we will need to find the element that is that actually we need to apply the background to so as you can see here is our class my my active um, because also it cannot work because I copied it in with the with the dot what happens okay so it's not exactly also what we want we want to apply the background on on the Elementor button link. Will it be? Could it be? Yes, seems like that. And we will also want to use this yellow. So let's copy it from here. And we will want to apply it to Elementor button link. So if I go back, I want to delete this dot, nothing to do here. Okay, and I need to go back to the custom CSS. Let's substitute this yellow for this yellow and my active and we will target the elementor button link and we need to also style that it's a border border color let's see if we need the important or not not really but you may need it or just make sure it overrides it so we have this active class prepared so that we can highlight the active item and so let me update it save it and now we will need some custom javascript so i needed a little bit of a head start with the javascript so that this video doesn't take forever and uh, i had to change a couple of things uh, first, I had to take a hoodie because I was getting a little bit cold and second, I had to change this class from Elementor button link to Elementor button because I actually removed the link. We're not going to use the link of the button and let me also give it give the my nav property of uh, move pointer at cursor pointer so that we have this hand style pointer okay so enough here and what so what we want to do now is the the filtering so that if we click for example on the html we are only seeing the html so for that, I have pre prepared this uh, JavaScript 
uh, code using jQuery again for the convenience. And uh, what is this doing? We have this document ready to wait until everything is loaded. And so we have the first part here so that if we click on the HTML uh, button with the ID HTML here, HTML, uh, we will select all the my nav, which means all the buttons and we will remove the class my active in case of uh, some of them is active already and we will give this class just to the one we clicked so that when I click on CSS it will stay selected and uh, this line here it is hiding the easiest uh, post loop item what is that I will explain here when we go to the inspector you can see that although we added some class to this item here and we go back so we have added a class to this element or we could have added some other class or some other ID but as you can see here when I see here this is the class that I am inputting there but it still has some wrapping elements above it and the highest wrapping element of this one item has the class of ECS post loop. So this is the box that we need to select and hide. So in the first step we are hiding all of them to kind of reset. And then we are showing only those that have the class HTML. But as I just show, explained, that it is buried few layers in we need to use this code of selecting the element with class html but we need to grab the one of the parents of it or like go up to the towards the parents and find the closest parent that has this class again of ecs post loop so what it means is that we that the jquery finds this element and goes up 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 until it finds this element with ECS post loop. So hopefully I explained it clearly. So this is the part that works for the HTML tag. So as you can see here it's already working for HTML so that if I click HTML I can only see this one item with uh, with HTML and with the, with the this one item from the category of HTML. So now I need to just simply extrapolate. I already did also for CSS tag and. So I think we have two more. We have the JavaScript. And PHP. So I just need to rewrite this to you need to be careful because it's case sensitive. So if I had written Java with script with capital J and capital S, it wouldn't have worked. So JavaScript, I think here actually the class is going to be JavaScript and here it's also needs to be JavaScript and here it will be PHP, PHP and this I probably did in capitals. So let's see if I got the capital letters right. Refresh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. And it's working. Unfortunately, we have no way here. Kind of forgot to add 
the all we will have the all here so we can easily fix it duplicate I'll give it all it should be my active by default and obviously it should be saying all and so it's the id of all and we need to edit here so let's edit in the beginning so if we click on id, ID all my enough it's the same we still want to select it i know uh, all we still want to turn it yellow in case we click on it and it was not selected and we can still hide them all and don't need to select them by the class so we can just do it like this so it's uh, we take all the boxes of the uh, custom posts and we, we first hide them all and then we show them all to keep this effect so and uh, now it should be all working so by default we are saying all let me just do the last thing which is deleting this old static design Reloaded. So by default we saw you see all. We see just HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP. Go back to all. Working flawlessly. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful or at least maybe entertaining or give you some insight how this widget, even the default one, works. But with this approach you can create something a little bit different a little bit more interesting and advanced than with the default portfolio widget that uh, element already has inside so thank you for watching once again and see you in the next one